Auto industry profits have soared since the end of the pandemic. The highest sales, the highest monthly payment rates ever recorded as inventory stayed low. But as we all well know, around here the business can change on a dime. Local 4 business editor Rob Maloney has a look at how Stellantis is now forced to cope with having too much inventory. Over the last few years for the auto companies, they've been able to get away with high transaction prices, big profits, and very few incentives. But while nobody was looking, the market changed on everybody. And now Stellantis is sitting on a bloated inventory that they could easily sell a year ago. It's not difficult to find a lot of Stellantis vehicles baking in the sun. This is the Sterling Heights assembly plant where they have dozens upon dozens of highly priced pickups sitting unshipped and unsold. Dealerships have big inventories too, good if you have a particular vehicle with specific goodies you want, but if you can't afford any of those choices, not so good for the company, says Ivan Drury from Edmonds Automotive. Is the interest rates kicked in and it's like, look, now these vehicle payments are they're not touchable. You might even get denied for a loan or you think, you know, I cannot pay over $1,000 a month when I'm just trying to go from point A to point B. He says the time a Stellantis vehicle sits on a lot is about 100 days when the industry average is about 50. And the sweet spot price is at about $30,000, Stellantis having one vehicle below that. Cox auto analyst Aaron Keating adding. They're about 120, 125% above the average uh, transaction price right now. Which could mean a big break if you're in the market and hoping for a sale. If I'm a consumer out there and Memorial Day is coming up, I'm thinking my dealers are likely wanting to work with some incentives to maybe offload some of that older inventory. And Stellantis is saying in a statement, quote, our incentive strategies remain aggressive and focused on regional opportunities. New retail strategies provide additional flexibility for our dealers to focus offers where they think they can maximize sales and address older inventory, end quote. Now, Stellantis also saying they are, in fact, going to be dropping prices on certain vehicles, like they're saying uh, the, uh, the the Jeep Grand Cherokee and the Durango. They're going to have a lower by $4,000 starting price, depending on the model. The Ram 2500 and 3500 heavy-duty vehicles, the 2024 models, they're going to have $9,000 off. The Pacifica, the, uh, the hybrid and the EV, uh, will have uh, $2,660 off, and then a couple of thousand dollars off of some of the gas model Pacifica. So uh, it does look like there is a sale coming. Back to you. Okay, Rod, thank you.